Hi there, Steve the Transit Camper, how are you today? Got a mail call, I just want to do, and we're also going to have a look at this uh, fake grass that you can put down. Got a little patch outside the shed, and I'm just going to have a go at it. It's not a how-to video, but it's how I do it. Catch you in a minute. Hi, welcome back. So first sticker, it's come from Tim at Grass Cutter Palmer. So Tim does a lot of uh, YouTube live streams as, as guests. Uh, I haven't seen him do one on his own, but he might do it. And uh, he's a lawnmower repair guy. He's got a few projects on. Check out his uh, channel, it's really good. I enjoy it. Uh, I'll show you that channel now. And here's a picture of Tim. Okay, so we're gonna put Tim's sticker up on the board. Thanks very much for sending me that. I appreciate anyone who sends me a sticker and you get a good shout out on my channel. So let's have a look at the board and put it on there. So here we are, let's just peel the backing off. Thanks very much for sending me this, Tim. Quick, rapid response when I emailed you. I really appreciate that, buddy. Like I said, there's a few people I've emailed that not got back to me, so I've done all I can. And we'll pop grass cut a palmer up here. Just underneath Rusty Rooster. And then, as I always do, let's go through the channels. So we've got grass cut a palmer. We've got the Rusty Rooster. Tom Doby, mower repair. The lawnmower detective. Ken Small Engines. Scotty Daniel and Grandpa Kevin. Appreciate all these stickers. They look good on uh, board number two. And then board number one, quickly go through them. Mix mowers, Ali Mac Mechanical, his wife Braveheart Scrapper, Henry Orowski, Andrew Thorne, Neville at Tinkering Taylor, Scrap It Man, used to be Project Man, Oh, the other way around, I should say. Retro Restore, that's a few stickers from him and his Butler's Empire channel. More about the family. Rick's Mowers, that's that Mr. T's shirts. And Rayleigh Small Engines and that uh, forum, UKGSA.com. I think that's everyone. Thanks very much for your stickers, guys. And then the other thing, I bought some black hoodies for myself and I got one for Jason as well. So it's just on my channel, front and back. I ordered these two days ago from uh, Mr. T's shirts and a lovely lady called Gemma, I think it was, who I've spoke to before. Uh, she just took the email. They've already got your prints online and they sent me both of those hoodies, one large, one extra large. And the total cost of that was £37.98. And that is real quality, honestly. They are superb. And a little message, I assume, from Gemma, which is nice. Thank you for the YouTube shout out. It's important to these people. It's important to myself as well. If you get a bit of quality, it's worth giving them a shout out. Right, let's have a look at this grass. Catch you in a minute. It's a bit noisy because somebody's mowing their lawn, but that's fine. So this is the area that I want to do grass on. And I'm assuming that these are tiles one of these wooden slats has come up and I see that they're screwed in from underneath. So I'm hoping that these are sort of nine squares to make one tile. So we're gonna get some gear out and I'll put you on a bit of music while I weigh up what's going on. So the music I'm gonna play is, uh, I've got permission off the owner. Uh, it goes under the name of Comanche and the tune's called No Problem. And it's uh, Fix It or Strip It's Brother. Neil at Fix It or Strip It. If you've not seen him, go and have a look at his channel. It's brilliant. So uh, we'll just put a little picture of him. And this is how you can obtain some of his music if you go to this website. I'm just going to pop it on in the background. Hope you enjoy it. You'll have heard it many times with Neil playing it and you'll even see him dance on one of his videos. You won't see me dancing. Catch you in a bit. So it looks like they've put a concrete base down underneath these mats. And the, these, this matting here is actually set into the concrete. This is hard underneath. 
So I'm going to put the grass directly onto that and hopefully it'll just meet up with the edge and it'll be the right thickness. I was hoping I could leave the mat behind and take the wood away but it's not going to work so we're going to rip it all up and see what happens. When I'm down in the morning light With my knee upon the ground In all honesty, that's where I will be Amen, I pray for life Silent world around my mind Feeling high that would be kind In all honesty I would just be free I may I pray for life When I'm down, I pray for life With my knee upon the ground Keeping space from you, that's what I will do Amen, I pray for life When I'm down in the morning light With my knee upon the ground In all honesty, that's where I will be Amen, I pray for life This is hard work, let me tell you.
to whip up, edge it off now. So it's got a bit to do there. Let's crack on. So it's coming on, as you see. Just going around now, getting a few of these high spots. So where that hasn't, it won't sit back down. I'm just using that and just nicking them out. That's it when it's finished. Just flattened it out. Don't want any big lumps in my new uh, lawn, do I? So as you can see, I am left with these screws sticking up through there. And there's obviously 65,000 of them, approximately. And baby's had an idea. She said, why don't you just try the grass on it and see if you can feel them if you're walking it barefoot. So I'm gonna give that a go. And she might be right. It might help to keep a grip of the grass as you tread them through. So we'll give it a go. If not, I'm gonna to have to grind them all off one by one. For what it's worth, I've just put a few drainage holes in this slab, just that the water's all coming down this way. So I thought I'll just put a few drainage holes just because this grass obviously it lets the water straight through and it's a concrete slab, there's no drainage on it. So I'll just drill a few holes through it, see what it's like, I'll show you. Yeah, I've just gone along there where the water's likely to collect. And as I've drilled through, it's actually dropped through about an inch deep this drainage slab is. So I think that'll get rid of some of the water. So there's a view of what we've got so far. Just need to get the grass now. So this is the grass that we got. 25 pound for four meters. But fortunately I had the good sense to go in my mother-in-law's shed and she had a spare one left from her garden. So I stole it. Perfect. So unfortunately, as you can guess, I can feel the screws and they're coming through too much. So we're gonna have to Get rid of some of the screws, I'm afraid. So the easiest method I've found is to just bend them over with a hammer. Won't take me long, square at a time. Right, I've knocked down what I thought was every nail. Baby's just checking now. Deserve a little two o'clock break. And then we'll crack on with the grass. Right, so I thought I'd give you an idea what it's going to look like. We haven't got the glue yet, so we can't do the joints properly. Obviously, we're going to need some more for the top end because we run out. But it's not a bad job. We'll know better once we've glued it down. So that's it for this video. Steve the Transit Camper. Laying a bit of AstroTurf and those few shade-outs. Thanks very much for sending your sticker, Tim. And we'll catch you later. Take care. Bye for now.